Saint Onesimus Greek, Onesimos Onesimos, meaning honorable, died c. 68 AD, according to Orthodox tradition, also called Onesimus of Byzantium and the Holy Apostle Onesimus in some Eastern Orthodox churches, was probably a slave to Philemon of Colossae, a man of Christian faith. He may also be the same Onesimus named by Ignatius of Antioch died c. 107 as bishop in Ephesus which would put Onesimus's death closer to 95 AD. Regardless, Onesimus went from slave to brother to bishop. In scripture The name, Onesimus, appears in two New Testament epistles, in Colossians chapter 4 and in Philemon. In Colossians chapter 4 verse 9 a person of this name is identified as a Christian accompanying Tychicus to visit the Christians in Colossae, nothing else is stated about him in this context. He may well be the freed Onesimus from the epistle to Philemon. The Epistle to Philemon was written by Paul the Apostle to Philemon concerning a person believed to be a runaway slave named Onesimus. The traditional designation of Onesimus as a slave is doubted by some modern scholars. Onesimus found his way to the site of Paul's imprisonment most probably Rome or Caesarea to escape punishment for a theft of which he was accused. After hearing the Gospel from Paul, Onesimus converted to Christianity. Paul, having earlier converted Philemon to Christianity, sought to reconcile the two by writing the letter to Philemon which today exists in the New Testament. The letter reads, in part, I appeal to you for my son Onesimus, whom I have begotten while in my chains, who once was unprofitable to you, but now is profitable to you and to me. I am sending him back. You therefore receive him, that is, my own heart, whom I wish to keep with me, that on your behalf he might minister to me in my chains for the gospel. But without your consent I wanted to do nothing, that your good deed might not be by compulsion, as it were, but voluntary. For perhaps he departed for a while for this purpose, that you might receive him forever, no longer as a slave but more than a slave. A beloved brother, especially to me but how much more to you, both in the flesh and in the Lord. In tradition Although it is doubted by authorities such as Joseph Fitzmere, it may be the case that this Onesimus was the same one consecrated a bishop by the Apostles and who accepted the episcopal throne in Ephesus following St. Timothy. During the reign of Roman Emperor Domitian and the persecution of Trajan, Onesimus was imprisoned in Rome and may have been martyred by stoning although some sources claim that he was beheaded. However, since the reign of Domitian was from 81 AD to 96 AD, then Onesimus's death would have to fall within these years and not 68 AD as stated above. In liturgy Onesimus is regarded as a saint by many Christian denominations. The Lutheran Church Missouri Synod commemorates him and Philemon on February 15, Eastern Churches remember Onesimus on 15 February and of November, the traditional Western commemoration of Onesimus is on 16 February. But in the 2004 edition of the Roman Martyrology, Onesimus is listed under 15 February with the Latin name Onesimus. There, he is described as a runaway slave, whom the Apostle Paul received to the faith of Christ while in prison, regarding him as a son of whom he had become father, as he himself wrote to Philemon, Onesimus's master." The date is designated the "...commemoration of blessed Onesimus," indicating that it is not regarded as his date of death, and suggesting that his rank in the Catholic Church may be blessed rather than saint. See also Topic. The attitude of Paul is one of the arguments in the debate about Christianity and slavery. Topic. References Topic. Topic. External links Topic. HTTP colon slash slash www.catholic.org slash saints slash saint.php question mark saint underscore it equals four nine oh eight HTTP colon slash slash www.santibethy it detoglio forty one thousand two hundred